It just works? More like it just sucks dick. Let me eat some food. So who am I to jump into bed with Bethesda again just because they're promising space Skyrim? What does the digital premium edition even give you? Up to five days early access, story expansion, constellation skin pack, soundtrack, and art book. I'm more curious about what there is to know about this Starfield game. The new Bethesda game, 7 out of 10, says IGN. It was available for pre-purchase, coming September 6th, pre-purchase for $90 Canadian, or digital premium for only $130 Canadian. That's a big ticket price. Next generation RPG set among the stars, create any character you want and explore with unparalleled freedom as you embark on an epic journey to answer humanity's greatest mystery. So is this meant to be Bethesda's answer to No Man's Sky? There's a whole like crazy ship editor. You go to strange planets, you identify things, discover, collect, build, lots of guns. 176 curators have reviewed this product before it's even out. Wow. 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 Kotaku, always a trusted resource in my books. Um, I, I don't, I don't, I'm not, not quite. Starfield's map is even worse than Fallout and Skyrim's, rock, says Rock Paper Shotgun. Ah, Alice Bell, I'm familiar. The one who called Baldur's Gate 3 horny. I can't get over this title. Baldur's Gate 3 is a relentlessly horny video game. TikTok, it's RPG sex o'clock. It's such a small part of the game. I'm very skeptical. Everyone's been asking me since following, are you getting Starfield? And I'm like, I don't know. Even my best friend just offered to buy it for me yesterday, but I'm like, is the game done? I have to say, my my confidence in Bethesda has been shaken ever since the Fallout 76 debacle, which I expertly avoided by not being an early adopter. I don't know, it is Bethesda. It might be a hard one for them. Well, that's just it. Is like, you know, without jumping to any conclusions, I don't have a conclusions mat to jump to. You see, it would be this mat that you would put on the floor. Bethesda has really left a sour taste in so many people's mouths in the same way that Blizzard has. So who am I to jump into bed with Bethesda again just because they're promising space Skyrim? Jumping on Baldur's Gate 3 wasn't that bad since Larian at least has a history of actually fixing their games. I've always tried to approach everything with a healthy sense of skepticism. You know, for example, Darth Microtransaction, even though I really like his takes, I still am skeptical with what he has to say. I always like to see as many opinions as possible, a healthy sample size, and then formulate my own opinions based on it. It has a few bugs, but they aren't game breaking. I'm a big Star Wars fan. The idea behind this game is appealing, but still, but still, it's Star Citizen just made by someone else. Star Citizen, again, a game that I am so skeptical about. I, 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 I I'm stuttering because when I look at that, I, I think to myself, why would I get this game? Correct me if I'm wrong, Star Citizen, hasn't it been in development for a really long time? Announced via private crowdfunding in September 2012, successful Kickstarter in October 18th, 2012, raising over 2 million US, production starting in 2011. It's been 87 years. It's been. 84 years get it on game pass instead and buy bg3 i will say at least in my own experience when i was playing xbox game pass is excellent value for your money like if you're gonna pay for a subscription service you do get quite a reasonable amount out of that and i mean if you're paying for xbox live anyway seems legit if you're into being a console gamer that being said i i'm not a console person obviously the console market share for gaming is much larger because it's a lot easier for the consumer do you want the base model or do you want the slightly better model it makes the whole decision-making process a whole lot easier. That's what makes it more approachable too, is that as a consumer, usually the games that you're gonna play are designed for it, even if it doesn't have like the maximum potential graphics, if things had to be dialed back a bit to accommodate the console, you know things are gonna run stably because it's designed for this massive market. 
And there's never that sense of, even if you were playing competitive games on console, let's say, everyone more or less is getting the same experience. And the only thing that could alter your experience is like your internet connection, right? You know, if you're, if you're connecting to the web on old copper cables versus fiber, mobile gaming dominates a lot too. Yeah, that's a whole nother story. <laughs> uh, we don't have any plans at the moment to do a uh, PC. Do you guys not have phones? Yeah, you guys all have phones. Phone. Phone. Right? Dude, I referenced that Diablo Immortal clip so much. Yeah, everybody does. Because it was a fucking joke. Someone actually said, is this a incredibly early April Fool's joke? No. <laughs> we, we thought everyone wanted this thing that nobody wanted. I really like having these discussions. Why should I buy Starfield? Having this back and forth. I'm personally waiting till they iron a few things out. I'll admit, Starfield was not even on my radar. I saw some mention of it when I was casually watching Zach. What is this game? I thought when I was seeing Starfield, they were talking about Star Citizen. Full disclosure, was not on my radar. If I did see this 2018 teaser at E3, I forgot about it because it's been so long and maybe there's been gaming news about it. Isn't Starfield that show from the 90s that had that one guy with the crazy hair, Kramer? <laughs> Boy, he's a weird guy, isn't he? Let's move back to the topic at hand. I have Game Pass, so I'll be trying Starfield. If it's free because uh, you have Game Pass, of course try it. If your decision is to spend $90 Canadian for the base game, $130 for the deluxe, or for the digital premium edition, what does the digital premium edition even give you? Up to five days early access, story expansion, constellation skin pack, soundtrack, and art book. Oh right, this was the whole like, they're selling more game down the line that they're gonna sell later anyway, but you're just buying it in advance for $40 Canadian. Starfield, the premium edition, a lot of artificial value. In fact, entirely artificial value. Zach's playing right now. He's got everything maxed out. Let's look at 1080p A60 source. So obviously we're not gonna see the same fidelity that he's seeing with the naked eye. It doesn't feel like 60 frames, but I could be wrong. It looks like 30. Are they making everyone feel better by no matter how good your computer is, everybody gets 30? Everybody can do at least 30, give 30 to everybody. Yeah, I mean, that, that seems to be the approach that they've taken. I just don't know if this game excites me while I look at it. Watching right this second, I'm like, I already have No Man's Sky. I can do this in No Man's Sky. Like, why do I need Bethesda's No Man's Sky? Wait till the modders get their hands on it. See now, this is my healthy skepticism and willing to be patient mind. In the same way that they've done so vastly for Skyrim, you can upscale the game, current generation graphics, I couldn't really find a logical ending point with all the footage that I took during that stream. So I just wanted to summarize. If you have Game Pass, play Starfield. Decide for yourself. If you're a PC player and you pre-ordered, it is what it is. If you're still skeptical and waiting to spend your money, just think about how game developers are trying to take advantage of the consumer by making all kinds of promises especially with the notion of this digital premium edition, they're promising you a good game in the future. Wait until that future arrives, then buy the game because it'll probably go on sale at that point. You'll save money. You'll have a better experience because odds are if you go into this game now, more than likely, I would speculate that you're going to find yourself disappointed and you're not going to come back to the game later. Be patient.